good evening. Welcome to Nightline. I'm Gwen Hall, your host, and we are so glad that you've joined us on this Friday night. Going to be introducing our special guest here in just a little while. But I thought tonight we'd just sing some of the old songs. My mom and dad would have celebrated their anniversary, the 20th of this month. And if it wasn't for her and just getting around the piano with her there at home, I wouldn't know a lot of the songs I know and a lot of the Red Book hymnal songs. So tonight, you know these songs because you tell me when we go out, we just sing along with you. So I'm going to sing one of the first songs my mom taught me. I'm in love with my Savior and He's in love with me. He is with me from day to day. What a friend is He. He watches over me while I sleep. Hears me when I pray. And I'm as happy as I can be now I can say well somebody loves me and serves my prayer I love somebody I know he cares somebody tells me not to repine that somebody is Jesus and I know he's mine my Savior and He's in love with me. He is with me from day to day. What a friend is He. Well, He watches over me while I sleep. Hears me when I pray. I'm as happy as I can be. Now I can say, help me. Somebody loves me and serves my prayer. you glad that you know him i'm going to do another old song red book hymnal right there out of page 92 i once was lost in sin but jesus took me in and then a little light from heaven filled my soul he made my heart in love and he wrote my name above and just a little talk with jesus makes it right help me sing it now let have a little talk with Jesus Tell him all about our troubles Hear our faintest cry Answer by and by Feel a little prayer wheel turning Know a little fire is burning Find a little talk with Jesus Makes it right Well, all right, all right, all right, all right And just a little talk with Jesus Makes it right Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Well, you've got to keep walking, keep walking, walking in the light of the Lord. You'll get to heaven someday. Better make it in the right way, walking in the light of the Lord. Now help me sing it. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles, hear our faintest cry, answer by and by. Feel a little prayer wheel turning, no little fire is burning. Find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Come on, let's worship him. He is worthy, he is holy. We just welcome you tonight. We have come into his house, gathered in his name, to worship him. We have come into his house, gathered in his name, to worship him. We have come into his house, gathered in his name. Christ our Lord. Worship Christ our 
worship Him, worship Christ the Lord. So let's forget about ourselves, concentrate on Him, and worship Him. Yes, Lord. So let's forget about ourselves, concentrate on Him, and worship Him. So let's forget about ourselves, concentrate on Him, and worship Christ the Lord. Worship Him. Worship you at home let's worship so let's just lift up holy hands magnify his name and worship him so let's just lift up holy hands magnify his name and worship him so let's just lift up holy He's worthy. Worship Him. Worship Christ the Lord. And we are standing on holy ground. And I know that there are angels. Father, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts. We've come tonight with our best praise to worship you, to lift you up, to follow your leading this night. We thank you ahead of time for souls. We thank you for our special guest that's come, that you just have your way in this house tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. At this time, I want us to go over to wait, honey. Well, isn't it so good to be able to start out praising and worshiping our precious Savior? He inhabits our praises, and, you know, that's a, just a good way to start anything that we do in life. Well, it's so good to have you with us this evening, and trust you've had a wonderful week this week. And uh, I want to say, as always up front, our prayer partners are here. They come faithfully Monday through Friday, and... They're here to take your call. If you've got a need, no matter what it is, you may be going through something physical. It could be financial, spiritual. It could be family problems. Whatever it is, give us a call and let us join our faith with yours and lifting that need up before the Father. There's power in the unity of prayer. And Gwen will tell you in a hurry, what she likes is good praise reports. So give us a call and... Uh, shout out a good praise if God's done something for you in this past week or let us know. And it's important to do that, to share what God's done for you because somebody else watching tonight could be going through the very same thing that you are. And by sharing that, they may realize, hey, God did it for them. He can also do it for me. And it helps build faith. Gwen? 
It's been a good week. It's been Great a good week. week. I'd love to hear from you some good praise reports. I knew it. We, ha we have a praise report. We got to go this past week with um, over to Broadmoor, which is right across from the airport. I just want to give a big shout out to those that really worked hard in putting together our 50-year alumni. I'm telling you, it was amazing, wasn't it? It was well, so you're, amazing. Well, you're a 50-year reunion. <laughs> let, let, you're let's... not far behind. Don't uh, think. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm ahead of you. <laughs> the truth be known. Anyway, it was wonderful, and I'm so glad. Let me just say this. They've got a little picture of me in the back of when I graduated. And I'm so glad that they took these pictures and actually put them upon our clothes. There's, that was me 50 years ago. I was 17 then. And so they had pictures like that on all of us. I'm so glad they did because I don't know that we would have recognized each other if we hadn't had the original <laughs> pictures. And back then, I was Gwen Queen. That was my last name. I grew up there in Biltmore. And it was so good to see so many different people. And uh, Merwin Abbott, he was my neighbor. And I just want to give a big shout out to him too, Wade, because he, uh, he did a lot of drawings. And, and there's Merwin. He was my neighbor. And he was a tremendous artist, still is a tremendous artist. Yes. And he did the pictures of the Rams and, and all the stationery, the, the things that he did. Uh, everybody put in a lot of hard work. And I even got a pen with uh, T.C. Robertson. That's where I went to school. T.C. Robertson. And how we were Robertson Rams, and and uh, I still actually have my album, which is in pretty good shape. It's in pretty good shape. So anyway, I just want to give a big shout out to all that was there, and it, we had a wonderful time. The evening by, went by so quick, and it was great to see everybody. Think people I hadn't seen really in 50 years, and all those years, <laughs> and all those years, and would not have recognized them if I hadn't had that little picture. If we all didn't have that little picture on. So anyway, just wanted to say just thank you. If any of you are watching tonight, just wanted to say thank you for all the hard work that went into that. Our special quartet tonight is Heart Sound. I'm telling you, they're going to bless your heart, and they're going to start out with a song right now. God says, I will. Some people don't believe that I ever will receive the things God has promised me that are written in His Word. They say I'll never see my faith become reality, that I won't possibly obtain the things they've heard. But God says I will, God says I will. And I absolutely, positively, definitely will. No matter what they say, it's going to happen anyway, regardless of how they may feel. God says I will. Well, I believe the Lord will lead forever, stay and never leave. He will bless abundantly according to his will. And when my life on earth is done, I'll bow before the Holy One. And then be led by God's own Son to a mansion on a hill. God says I will. God says I will. And I absolutely, positively, definitely will. No matter what they say. It's going to happen anyway, regardless of how they may feel. God says I will. God says I will. Yes, God says I will. And I absolutely, positively, definitely will. No matter what they say, it's going to happen anyway, regardless of how they may feel. God says I will, regardless of how they may feel. God says I absolutely, positively, definitely will.
Art Sound Quartet. I'm telling you, they're singing tonight. God says, I will. And he will, Wade. That's right. <laughs> That's he one. will do what? Abundantly above? And beyond. All we could ever ask or think. That's right. I know you've got a wonderful scripture tonight. Psalms 91, and this is probably my favorite mm -hmm. scripture uh, in the Bible for me. And it reads like this. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God, and in Him will I trust. Mm -hmm. And Gwen, that is so powerful that yes. we trust in Him. For He shall give His angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. In verse 11 there. And that's, uh, you know, one thing we want in our lives, you know, we talk about, you know, going through life and everything. We always want to go through life with Him. Yes. He ought to be the one that's in control. And how to do that is we need to dwell in that secret place with Him. And how, what is that? That's abiding in His Word and yes. in His presence. You know, have that time alone with Him mm -hmm. uh, to where you can pray and where you can listen uh, for answers or listen to what He may give you or direct you. You say, well, does the Lord speak to you? Yes, He does in all kind of different ways. But we got to be in tune to understanding, to hearing, Gwen, yeah. what He has for us. I love this passage of Scripture, Wade, Psalms 91. It's, it's so powerful. Yeah. And He is our refuge. Mm -hmm. He is our strength. So, you know, when you're going through things, right there is the place you want to be is uh, under his wings. We have uh, 20 grandchildren and three great-grandchildren, six kids. Mm -hmm. But there's not a day that don't go by that we don't pray this prayer over, over our family. Them. Yeah, we cover them. And I wanted to include that 11th uh, verse because it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee. That's right. We can charge our angels. We do We do that in our home. You know, we've downsized now, but we do that in our home. And before we go to bed at night, I charge the angels at the foot of our bed the top of our bed and around our premise. Do you really do that? I sure do. Thank God. He gave his angels That's charge right. over us. And, and if they don't believe how you charge your angels, they need to ride with us sometimes <laughs> on the highway. She's charging angels all around us. Oh, and yeah. And the cars are around, around us. us. <laughs> yeah. When you're so. on the highways, and we were in Atlanta, we took Jonathan back down to Atlanta. He transferred from, from what he does in his work to Alabama. And so there was a, could have been so closely, John said to me today, that's the closest I believe we've ever come to being in a wreck because the car just. It was right in front of it us. It was right in front of us and hit that tractor trailer and then come back over here and hit two more. And, and there's six lanes of traffic. If you've ever drove in Atlanta, mm -hmm, I'm telling you, I was praying. <laughs> I was doing some praying. I'm glad I had charged the angels around us. You got, you were praying and putting on the brakes. Oh, there. yeah. I got my brakes put over there on my side, just like Wade does on his side. <laughs> and I got a feeling John had his brakes on in the back seat. <laughs> oh, my. But you know what? We can pray according to the Word of God. That's it. We're going to talk about kids. And, and one of the reasons I chose this this week was that our kids went back to school this week. And so it's been a big week. And, and I just want you to know tonight, there's nothing too hard for God. Maybe you're facing one of the biggest storms in your life you've ever faced. I'm going to tell you who's in the midst of the storm with you. His name is Jesus. Right. And the Bible said he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He'll be there with you always. And I guess, you know, we're, me and Duchess get out and walk in the morning. We just talk with the Lord. And, and I just sing and praise the Lord. And the other morning I looked up and there was a young man and his wife sitting there. And I said, good morning. And I just kept on singing and walking and praying because that's my time. We gotta have that time, Wade. We do, and it's important that we spend that time. You know, we live in a world that everything is moving so fast. Yeah. And it's a it's a world where we almost want everything instant. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have patience anymore like we used to. It seems like, and but we need to stop and take time to spend that with the Lord. That's right. To give Him thanks for all the blessings we have. Well, I'm. You don't know how I'm facing things or what I'm going through. Well, I'll tell you this. Look around and you'll see how blessed you are, even sometimes in the midst of the storms that we're in. If we look around, we can see how we are truly blessed. Oh, yes, we but are. But bottom line, he'll still be right there 
for you in the midst of your storm. Yes. Honey, will you pray? Yes, Father, thank you, Lord, yes. for this wonderful day, this time together, Lord. And Lord, I know there are many needs out there, Father. And Lord, we look to you right now, Father, yes, to do. work we in behalf you. of each and every one. Lord, I know there are going to be many requests called in tonight. And we're going to be praying over those, Father. And we just ask you now, Lord, to work in behalf of each one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Going back to some good singing. Heart Sound's going to do such a time as this. And after a while, let's make them welcome. Mm -hmm.
Now's a good time for you to slip your hands up and let's give God praise. I'm telling you, those two songs are off their brand new CD, Still Thankful After 25 Years, at such a time as this and after a while. And they're going to be singing a lot of the songs, Wade, that are on this tonight. So tonight we want you to do something very special with Wade and myself. And you want to tell them more about it? Uh, yes. You know, we, Gwen and I have been talking this week. You know, so many of mm -hmm. our children and grandchildren are going back to school. And we thought we would take time tonight. If you would like to call in and give us the first name mm -hmm. of your child or grandchild that's in school this year, we're going to take time during the program to pray over those children for the year. We really feel like there's a need for us to do that. You know, uh, I was reading just something in the paper today, just in the newspaper before I came down here, how little five-year-olds are having to be at the bus stand at, at, at 530 in the morning. I think that's a good reason to, to, to get together and let's pray over our kids. I mean, I don't even think at 530 in the morning that it's, it's daylight. Not right. It's not even daylight and yet. It's, you know, and that's uh, that's awful early to It is to awful early. Out. But, you know, that's the situation yep. and all. And there's so much, you know, that uh, uh, and it's wonderful for our children to be able to go to school, yep. have that opportunity. It's such a blessing. But, you know, we still need to take time to cover them in prayer. Uh, Is that know, important? It's so very important. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Uh, and, and in doing that, even wouldn't hurt to have prayer, Gwen, uh, as a family before they leave for school. That's right. Take time and pray together before they go out, 
Ezekiel into the day. And that scripture came to me. The prayer of the righteous. We're, we're with right, standing with God, so we are the righteous. The prayers of the righteous, the Bible says, availeth, availeth much. much. Does he hear us when we pray? Oh, yes, mm -hmm. he does. Oh, he is never too big. He is always on time. I would, if I were you, encourage you to take Psalms 91 and pray over your family, your children, your husband when he leaves for work. I just think that for our nation, you know, right. there's so many things we can pray for right now. Um, but, you know, let's start tonight with our family and our kids yes. as they go back to school. I just felt really, this was, this was the first week back, and I just really felt like we needed to key in on that tonight. How about you? I do too, Gwen, because yeah. all of a sudden here you've got thousands of, uh, of our children that are, are on the move now mm -hmm. heading out to school. Like you say, they're catching the buses in the morning or they're in transportation uh, some form with the parents or somebody on their way to school, carpooling, whatever yep. it is. And then you got, you know, the day and the time they're at school. Yeah. And then they're all traveling back home in the evenings. And, you know, that... That's a long day for them. That's a long day for them. <laughs> and I do. I think we need to, you know, cover them in prayer. And also our teachers. Yes. You know. Yes. They're out there, they're, you know, giving so much to our children, you know, to, to help their education and yes. so forth. We have a daughter-in-law mm -hmm. that teaches, and I remember that when they were building the house and, and they lived there with us, I mean, she didn't, her day didn't stop when she came to the house, Wade. She opened up the books and was working all through the evening. I know. Um, I mean, her heart and soul was in that. Thank God for it, and we need to lift our teachers up this year. We do. I, I, <clears throat> years ago, you know, I had friends... Uh, uh, that taught and coached after school and mm -hmm. everything. And there were times, you know, we'd want to try to get together, you know, mm -hmm. go get a meal or something like that. But so many times they were so busy yeah. after school hours. You know, it bothered me when I'd hear people say, boy, teacher's got it made. Three o'clock comes, their day's over with. No, no. No, it's not over A lot of times yet. it's taking home with them. Yeah. They work at home on, you know, the planning for the next day, maybe whatever. But they're dedicated and spend a lot of time. So, yes, we need to cover them in prayer. The prayer partners are at the phones tonight. The number's are on your screen. Just keep calling. If you don't get somebody the first time you call, keep calling. <laughs> You've got a praise report. I would love to hear that praise report tonight, Wade. That's right. And then if you have needs, we especially want to pray over your needs tonight in Jesus' name. I know how God does move and he does answer prayer. Is it in our time? Sometimes it's not. Sometimes we just wait upon the Lord. That scripture, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's it. And sometimes there is that time of waiting and standing and believing. It's all in God's time. And it should be. <laughs> That's exactly right. We should trust right. Him. You know, for, sometimes we get ahead of God a little bit yeah. because we want it now, yeah. instant yeah. and everything. But uh, And then sometimes you can easily get upset. Lord, why hasn't this happened yet? Mm -hmm. Lord, I've prayed for this or that. But the main thing is his timing. Because yeah. what he would want for mm -hmm. us far exceeds anything we could think of for ourselves. Glenn. Yeah. And he's a loving God. He's a faithful God. We talked about the kids in school. We need to think about those going to college. That's right. You've got kids that just started off to college and those at the technical schools. Let's keep them in prayer as well. We want That's to right. do that. Amen. I want us to remember too tonight, Wade, when we go back in prayer, the Atkinson family, the Carlette family, these are families in our church that's lost a loved one, and so I want us to lift them up as well. Going back now to some more good singing, Heart Sounds standing by to sing, Hang On to the Cross, and I Like the Old Time Way. Heart Sound. <laughs> Ship is 
singing tonight heart sound quartet they're actually going to come over and join us on the second half of the program tonight tell them a little bit about their self and what god is doing in their life and we want to hear from you tonight this whole month there's five fridays in this month That's right. we've had good gospel singing ever got one more week i'll be telling about that a little later who's going to be with us but god is moving and blessing I want to share a praise report, and then I want you to share a real good praise okay, report. Okay, go ahead. Doug. Okay, so here is some praise reports that come in. You know I love praise reports, thank the Lord. Sarah called last week and asked for prayer. She went to the doctor today, and she had had clogged arteries, and they cannot find them. Well, let's give God praise for that tonight. In Jesus' name, he gets all the glory. There was three people that had called in for healing, and each one of them have called in saying they receive their healing. So we need to give God praise for that tonight. Amen. Amen. Tell them about our pastor. I'll tell you what. Uh, pastor Ford, our pastor for many years. Yes. And dear friend of ours. Uh, we were with him this week, uh, first part of the week. He was um, having trouble walking uh, any distance, out of breath. Uh, he would even fall weak and everything. So uh, they said that... Uh, uh, one report he got, they really couldn't do much for the, uh, for his heart. That's right. That one side of it was, uh, you know, basically dead, not working. And uh, someone uh, decided they were going to send him uh, to uh, another cardiologist. And we were with him this week. They went in to do a cath. They were, they were saying that where he had had open heart surgery a few years ago, that if any of those had collapsed, they would have to do open heart again. Uh, but they went in with to do a heart cath to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. They found that those uh, uh, were doing just fine. And then uh, the uh, surgeon, she noticed that there was a blockage on the other side of the heart there that uh, uh, they said wasn't working. Yeah, said it was dead. It basically yeah. dead. Mm -hmm. So she went and put a stent in there. Mm -hmm. Blood flow started into that side of the heart. Oh, God. It started to move, work again. And they've told him now that it's going to gradually get stronger. And so we were talking to him today. Yeah. He's doing much better. Thank praise God. God for that. We just Amen. give God all the praise for Pastor Ford. I told him in a few weeks he just needs to come up here and be on the program with us and just give that good praise report. Give a praise report and how about <laughs> preach a sermon? I know. He would just let him preach yes. a little bit. <laughs> I know there's been some urgent requests way that's come in too we want yeah. to remember tonight. Here's the lady called in. Uh, she's got TMJ, really a lot of pain that's in her jaws, uh, requested prayer. Uh, here's one that are family problems. Uh, they called in, please pray for a daughter and their family. They're having so much uh, trouble in the family. But, you know, we serve a God of healing and restoration there. And uh, when we talk about schools, here's one that says, please remember the uh, bus drivers and so forth. Oh, yes. Uh, and all that uh, uh, there have been changes made and, and all and made some of the situations more difficult. So mm -hmm. we need to lift and, them and up And the people also. that do the walkways from the school across That's the street. Right. Amen. Here's somebody that's got a blood clot uh, on their brain. We're going to be praying for that in just a minute. I've seen a praise report where someone had at that and God healed them. So God's no respecter of person. And that's what we said earlier, yes. that what he's done for one, yes. he can do for you. So, you know, just hold on there. Sonia has a daughter that's in the hospital. She said, please pray. She has a, a real serious kidney infection. So we're going to be praying over that tonight. You have some more? Yes, I do. Uh, please pray for a friend here. The, she lost her son due to an overdose of drugs. Oh my. And you know, this is such a tragedy that's taking place mm -hmm. in our nation now. Mm -hmm. There are so many that are dying every day in our country from overdose and all. Praying. And so, you know, we really need to yes. step up and pray over our, our friends, our family members, and yeah. so forth. You can't hardly talk to anyone without this situation 
touching just about every family, Gwen, mm -hmm. in some shape, form, or fashion. When I'm noticing there's a lot of calls tonight for people with depression and anxiety, and we just we just take authority over that tonight in Jesus' name. Uh, We're going to be praying over all these in a minute. Well, you mentioned that. That's what I've got in my hand right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, please pray for a, a granddaughter that uh, is having a lot of depression going through the times of a lot of depression. For somebody with osteoporosis, I, I want you to know tonight, first of all, we do not take these requests lightly. That's when right. we pray, we believe God when we pray. I know that there is a power in agreement. Yes. There is power in agreement. So we're going to believe tonight, and you that are watching from home, we want you to set your faith with our faith, believing tonight for your miracle, for your healing for your breakthrough, for restoration in your marriage, for your children that are on drugs. We just, we break the curse of those drugs in the name of Jesus, Wade. That's we right. have that authority in That's Jesus' right. name. So we're going to do that here in just a little while. I know you've got some more to share there. Here's one that uh, Sarah called in. Uh, she's in a lot of pain with arthritis, uh, especially in her shoulders and arms. So we just lift her up right now in Jesus' name. Uh, those that's calling in tonight, believe in God for salvation in the home. Here's a woman that's believing for a daughter. You know, we have been standing for many years, wait, have we not, for our own kids. That's right. It was just recently that our oldest son, 49, just came back to the Lord. And you know what? I just want to encourage you tonight. Don't give in. And don't give out. And don't give up. What do you do? You stand. Having done all stand, we stand, stand believing. I just kept thanking the Lord. I just kept seeing it by faith that he was coming in. 49, almost 49 years old, came in, and I just give God all the praise. And guess what? If he did that for us and our children, he will do it for your children. So don't, don't give up on them. You just keep standing. You just see them coming in right. by faith in Jesus' name. And no matter what that individual is going through that... Uh, that you've been praying for. Yeah. As Gwen says, don't give up, you stand. Mm -hmm. It may be you're the very person that's standing in that gap, praying, that's holding back, you know, destruction or illnesses or things yes. that could be even worse. Mm -hmm. Take time to hold on and pray and don't give up because the answer will come. It'll be on the that way. That song that says, don't give up, we're on the brink of, of a, a miracle. miracle. And you know, Wade and I, for the last couple of years with our with our children, I know it was just a couple of years ago, we came so very close to losing two of our children and we just kept praying and believing and asking people that knew how to pray to stand with us. And we every week we see our kids just getting better, getting stronger. Does God work? Yes, He does. And we just thank Him every day. Don't let the enemy play on you. The greatest battlefield is right here. And don't let the enemy come against your mind. You stay in God's Word. That's right. We don't live in fear. Oh, no. You know, we live by faith. He's not giving Trust us him. a spirit of fear. That's right. So we live by faith mm -hmm. and holding on to His Word. And as we've said many times, faith, how much faith? The faith of a grain of mustard seed can move mountains. I remember yeah. when you preached on that. He gave everybody an envelope there in the church when we were pastoring there in Candler. And everybody looked in their envelope and they said, well, there's, there's nothing in there. Do you remember that? I do. <laughs> Wade said, look, look, look a little closer. And they did. They, they looked at each other like, we don't see nothing. But, and then you took that envelope and you took that little seed out. That much faith. And they started finding the seed oh, in yeah. theirs. Oh, yeah. It may be so small you don't see it, but God sees it. <laughs> yes, he does. God Going back to it. some good singing now. Son of God, the song they're going to sing, Heart Sound Quartet. The angel spoke to Mary while in the garden praying. He said, You shall have a son and his name shall be Emmanuel people came from all around to see this child 
in Bethlehem the child became my savior and he is the son of God he's the son of God he's Lord of all he hears my every beckon he hears my every call Many people praise his name, oh, but some, they turn against him, and they nail him to a tree, but he arose from the grave one day, and just before he went away, oh, he promised turn someday and he take you and me he's the son of god he's lord of all he hears my every beckon he hears my share something I seen in a request that came in. We're going to pray over your requests. and never want to be important. But Steve called in and he was talking about how he wants to be closer to walk, a closer walk with the Lord. He wants to make a decision to, to just come back to God. And I, I've got a scripture for you right here. And you, you learned this when you were just a child, many of you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus went to the cross, wait. He laid his life down willingly because he knew, he knew what he was going to the cross for, that we would have life and that everlasting. And Steve, I'd say to you right now, we just pray for you and lift you up and just know. Maybe you just feel like you're miles away from the Lord. But you know what? One step, one step, one, one word saying, Jesus, forgive me. I need you. I want you back in my life. Forgive me of the mess I've made in my life. Forgive me of my sins. God wants to do that for you right now. If you're watching, I want you to call right now. The number's on your screen. I want you to pray with our prayer partner. 
And then we've got a little book I want to send to you called First Steps. Joanne and Jimmy wrote this little book, and it was God, it was God meant for them to do that because they knew there would be a time like you, Steve, and others that would call that would need, that would need somebody to pray with. I thank God for Nightline, Wayne. Absolutely. I thank, I thank God for Nightline that it is a lifeline. It is a lifeline for you that are watching tonight, for you that are reaching out. Maybe you can't even get through on the phone right now, but just know right now as we pray and we agree together, we believe. We believe for healing. We believe for breakthroughs this night in marriage. We believe that financial debt be gone in Jesus' name. We thank you tonight, Father God, for touching children, our children that are on drugs. I speak to those children to be free in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you tonight for homes to be restored. God, you know the need in every home this night. We pray over our children this year as they go to school. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. We'll be right back.